Hello guys, I'm the crew and today I'm gonna narrate uh, the week 2 of SPL between uh, C and Rob Jr. for the B5 Vault Tournament channel. We'll get right into the game and we will see Zabdos vs Smangle turn 1. As we saw from McMegan's game, but this time Smangle isn't gonna activate the berry from the Thunderbolt. We're gonna see Tyranny Tarvians killing the Zabdos. Uh, I'll pause right here to try to analyze uh, what's gonna happen. Uh, since we saw Smeagol, we have to guess that this uh, Tyranitar is most likely DD with something to smash Swampert, so it could be HP Grass or it could be um, Double Edge. And here, if you're Rob Jr., you probably doesn't want to. You probably don't want to rest, uh, stay on Tyranitar as that goes because. It's really easy here to click the rock slide and see what is the rock resist in Rob's team. So we are probably we are probably gonna see a switch to yeah Metagross makes sense and rock, uh, rock slide. Excuse me. Here the this Metagross looks choice band because it didn't reveal leftovers and we can confirm that with the damage on uh, CS Metagross. And here we see Meteor Mash trying to catch a switch or something, but no. There is another mash, and here uh, Rob Jr. is in range of Earthquake, and we saw that he's slower than CS Metagross, so he's probably gonna switch. Uh, a good Metagross answer can be Zabdos, especially since you see that uh, CS team is probably some kind of physical spam or rock spam, and Zabdos doesn't want to deal with stuff like Tyranita and Aerodactyl, so if you have a Swampert or any kind of bulky water in the back, uh, you want to keep them and not give them to this uh, Metagross explosion. So we'll see Zapdos come here and we're gonna see Agility on the switch. So here uh, you want to break this Zapdos, but you don't have Rock Slide, so it makes sense to click uh, Meteor Mash and see what happens. And now is probably the time to uh, click Explosion from C. But what happens is that there is um, full para, and therefore this Metagross is dead for nothing. Tyranitar is probably gonna come back, and now I assume it's time for a Dragon Dance, trying to weaken the Rock Resist in Rob Jr.'s team. We saw a Metagross already, but yeah, this there there, there, there is the Dragon Dance and Metagross is gonna die to Earthquake. Swampert is gonna come here to answer the Tyranitar, but yeah, since this is a uh, probably physical offense, we are gonna try to smash this Swampert with Tyranitar, and here is the double edge I talked about earlier in this commentary. So here Gengar, and here we are gonna pause and we are gonna try to uh, guess what is the game plan for uh, Super Epic and Pharaohs here. So, Rob Jr. knows that uh, his Dablos has very little value, so if Ice Punch kills this one part, uh, you probably want to click it. Otherwise, you have to click the grass move. Uh, what could be the last for Super Epic and Pharaohs? It could be something like Aero plus uh, Salamence. It could be some kind of um, enabler, enabler plus uh, Salamence or Aerodactyl, and that's that pretty much it. Uh, I don't know what enabler could there be here, so yep, we'll we'll see we'll see what happens. But yeah, the game plan is gonna to win with one of the remaining Pokemon, a big sweep, something like Litchi, Aerodactyl, or DD Salamence. I punch on the Zapdos, we see Thunder Wave again, and yep, the Zap did some crazy job taking on the Metagross and the Gengar. Here I, yep, there is Tyranitar coming in uh, to click the Rock Slide. Uh, that's smart because uh, Aerodactyl is unable to come and revenge kill Tyranitar, so you have to use something else. And there is actually a Salamence intimidating the Tyranitar. Uh, the problem is Earthquake uh, at plus one won't kill the Tyranitar, but yep, we double switch to Electrode here of all things. Uh, we'll see what happens with this um, Electrode. We see Light Stream and the Tyranitar switch it out. Uh, we'll pause here because this is really interesting. So Tyranitar switched out in fear of getting exploded on and being minus two with very low HP on the Salamence and letting a Dragon Dance occur. 
So I have to assume that the remaining Pokémon from World Junior are pretty weak to uh, a DD Salamence, and therefore is act this Wampod to prevent um, too much DD from occurring. Yeah, but if Salamence just DDs. No, yeah, he came on the on the electron, my bad, yeah. So, support came on the projected boom and it doesn't work. And now there is the boom on Tyranitar, there is a crit, but a Tyranitar is in range of a plus one earthquake after the boom, so it doesn't really matter. We are gonna see a Dragon Dance and we are gonna see a Miss Rock Slide, which is uh, really bad because it allows a second um, Dragon Dance. We see Dragon Dance again, and we see Rock Slide. So now uh, it's a matter of is there anything in Rob Junior's team that can take a plus two mains? And the answer is uh, you can miss Rock Slide on Aerodactyl. It doesn't happen. And what is the last Pokemon? We don't know what the last Pokemon is because uh, Rob Junior forfeited. Um, from this team. It, I don't guess too much, but it could be a Celebi. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it would be a Celebi, but yeah, I, uh, this is hard, pretty hard to guess. Uh, if this was, if this was a fortress, no, this is, this is, there's no way this is a fortress. It would have come, came on the Metagross to try to spike up. I guess I don't know, I don't know. Now, I would say that he's a Celebi, but yeah. So anyway, this was a really uh, smart game from C, and I probably see you in the next uh, narration.